Kiss. Programmed I want you by Kiss. Why did you choose that? Because I was the first band I liked. First rock and roll band I liked and first band I ever saw. And I um, made, a, made a big impression on me when I was a kid. And sorry. Oh yeah, I remember seeing that on TV not long, um, maybe a couple of years ago, and that really brought back memories because I remember seeing it when I was little, and and it was a really, really um, wild film clip, you know, like really long hair and people going crazy, not clean cut at all, which is really good. Your life on Mars. Why'd you program that? Uh, because. Um, no one looked or sounded like David Bell when he came out. And he uh, mm, caused a bit of controversy, I think, because of the way he looked and the way he sounded, but he influenced a lot of people. So he deserves to be recognised. Birdman. Um, because Radio Birdman were a big influence on all of us, because I like the noisiest band to come out and no one sounded like them from Australia. You know, I mean, Saints were powerful too, I mean. But Radio Berman, uh, a Radio Berman, I think, yeah, pretty good. I'm Ray from the Hard Ones and I picked some of my favourite film clips for you. I hope you really hate it. And Eden Rifles. Ah, uh, because punks aren't supposed to like mods, so I thought I'd put that in. Well, as you were... Why did you program that? Uh, I remember seeing it when I was young and made a big impression on me too because uh, it was really raw and they weren't, like I said before, they weren't clean cut. I don't like anything that's clean cut. It's, it's really rough and it's very good. Rolling Stones, Paint It Black. Why did you program that? Because Mick Jagger has a terrific voice and they all look so cool in black and white. Holding in Cambodia, why did you choose that? I saw them when they came out and they, that made a big impression on me and all, all my friends too. They were like, I hadn't seen anything that ferocious in a live show before. They just blew everybody away because of, of the speed and the power and, and also their humour and their wit too, you know. Um, I've never seen anything like it. The drummer got on his drum kit and, and flew into a whole bunch of, you know, like, you know, a mess of bodies and this black guy with dreadlocks. He just went crazy. I don't think anyone had seen anything like that in Sydney. ACDC Rock and Roll Damnation, why did you program that? Well, um, ACDC were probably the first band that I ever heavily got into, so, um, I want to have a look. <laughs> do I do all right? Why'd you choose that? Uh, the Beatles are probably um, one of my all-time favourite bands, and I think Hey Jude's a classic. So um, I want to share it with all you viewers out there. Hi, I'm Blackie from the Harlems, and uh, if you're expecting another night of dance music, sucked in, because you're going to get nothing but heavy, heavy. Push it up. Um, I think Captain Sensor's um, pretty godlike, and um, I used to have this on tape, but I lent this tape to our Kesh uh, a couple of years ago and haven't seen it since. So I'm going to tape it to Swerve Driver, son of Mustang Ford. Um, that's a new band and um, I saw the video once a while ago and um, I brought the EP a few weeks ago and I really dig it heaps. So I um, just want to see it again. Hi, I'm Lucky for the third time from the Hard Ons and you're watching Rage. Kesh, you programmed the Ramones Howling at the Moon. Why did you program that? Um, oh, Ramones, I'm a really big fan of the Ramones. And I've never seen that film clip. And the song's a really classic pop song. And I like it a lot. So uh, I wanted to see it. Sonic Youth, cool thing. Well, I've never seen that too. And um, the latest album they've put out is really, really hot. And I've been listening to it a considerable amount. Um, yeah, I just wanted to check that out as well and give other people a chance to love it. Hi, I'm uh, Kesh from The Hard Ons and um, I've picked 20 film clips. I hope you enjoy. Um, most, some of them I haven't seen, but most of them are, are pretty good, so uh, I hope you get into them. It's a cult. Well, they're one of my favourite bands and I've never ever witnessed a Blue Estacult gig or a film clip. So 
Uh, I really want. I was hoping you guys would have some of that here. Say, some stranded. Well, I've seen that before. I just like the clip because it's really, it's a good clip. Just a lot of things happening on it, and the songs. Really Public hot. Enemy, Burn, Hollywood, Burn. Why did you program that? Um, I'm a fan of their music, and um, the song's good. I reckon. I've never seen the clip, but um, I like what they stand for, and um, it's it's good rap. It's just, you know, it's, it, it's with a bit of um, aggressiveness, not just plain or boring. Right? The Who, my generation. Well, I was going to pick something else, right? <laughs> but the boys hassled me, so I picked that. Because um, they're just a wild band. All the clips I've seen of them have been really, really wild. And um, that was just as good as any. So. so what would you have chosen if you'd had your way? I wanted to see You Better, You Better, You Bet. Do you want us to play it for you? Yeah. <laughs> Just to end on my other members. Oh, no. <laughs> Hi, I'm Cash from the Hard Ons, and you're watching Rage, and I'm watching Rage. And How important um, is video to promoting music, do you think? Well, nowadays it's very important because TV is so popular. Yeah. It's a good uh, form of exposure, too. It's lots of, it gets across to a lot of people. Yeah. yeah, even if they don't play our clip very often. All right, they will, they will. <laughs> I think video detracts from the listener's imagination. Sometimes. Some some bands can't exist without videos. And like people go and see them and they, they it's nothing like the video. Sometimes videos are misleading. Yeah. Like um, a band like us, I mean we couldn't compare our live show with a video. Whereas uh, Someone like Kylie Minogue, she wouldn't exist without a video format, so... Oh, she would, so... <laughs> yeah, she'd be, she'd be a soap opera star, but she wouldn't be a rock star or without a video. She made videos before she played live. Rage. So do you like the concept of video? Um, for me, um, I don't really uh, agree with everything about the video. I, I don't think too much emphasis should be placed on it because to me there's nothing like a, a live experience of a band. But well, then it's, it's still fun to see though, like, yeah, you know, when you're, when you're at home and you just turn on the TV and there's your favourite band with their video clip. It's yeah. Sometimes, uh, yeah, sometimes it's a, I mean, it's a good substitute. Like we saw the damn film clip smash it up when we were kids. 
And that was, that was a big thrill, seeing it for the first time, because we couldn't go over to England and watch them play live. <laughs> Hard-on studios come come from. Where do the ideas come from? Uh, I don't know really. Um, I think the guy who made them, Greg Ferguson. Did I get his name right? Yeah, you did. Yeah, it's Greg. Greg. Um, we basically give him some ideas and just say, oh, you know, yeah. see what you can come up with. I don't think we're very easy to work with when it comes to making a video because we're very camera shy. Rage. We offer him suggestions and you know just. You know, can we have 500 women running after us and stuff like that? And he's like, oh, I can't do that, but you know, I can do this. And...
Do you like making videos? No, I think it's pretty boring. <laughs> yeah, it's tedious, isn't it?